I want to walk through plucking a duck in preparation for cooking. I uh, shot some mallards yesterday. Uh, I gutted them so that I could age them. I don't like to age them with the guts in, so I gutted them. Now I'm going to pluck it and prepare it for the kitchen. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is start on the breast. And before I even get started, I want to talk a little bit of technique. You'll see a lot of people when they pluck a duck, they pull the feathers out. In my opinion, that's the wrong way to go about it. You want to pinch the, fin the feathers with your fingers and thumb, but you don't pull up, you wipe. And what that does is that removes the down feathers as well as the quill feathers. So when you wipe up, you see you get all the feathers. And I'm actually wiping the skin with my thumb, almost using my the skin on my thumb to pull those down feathers out. So I'm just wiping up. And you'll notice when I do the breast, I'm working from tail to head. That'll change, but for the breast, that's the way I like to do it. I feel like that's the easiest way. So I'll expose the breast. And as the same time, at the same time that I'm plucking, I'm checking for pellet holes. I want the breast meat, which is the main meat on the duck, to be free of any pellet holes, bruising, wound channels, um, because normally I'd cut those out because you'll get a lot of feathers and, and coagulated blood in there that is not gonna taste good. Um, so normally if I breast it out, I can cut those pieces out. But when I'm using the whole bird, I don't have the luxury of cutting those out. So I want a duck that doesn't have any pellet holes in that breast meat. I'm gonna continue up the neck. I'll go about halfway up the neck, turn it around. Then I'm gonna flip the duck around. For the rest of the bird, I'm gonna go head to tail. So now I'm gonna go right down the back. Then I'm gonna work off either side. A note of caution, Right here at the top of the wing where that hooks on and to the neck, this is where you can rip the skin relatively easy. So I am a little cautious and I will pluck a little more versus that wiping motion just right in this region. When it comes to the wing, I like to go just past this feather patch where you lose the feather patch. I'll stop right there. I'll skin the rest of that. Around the feet is one spot right around the ankles where um, you're going to want to pluck a little more to get those last few feathers. Just pinch and pull. But that wiping technique will work for the main body. So that's half done. Let's go to the other side. Remember, careful right in this area, because that's where the skin tends to rip. off that leg and then finish up with the tail and you'll notice the feathers around the oil gland on the back side here I'll leave those feathers and I'll show you what to do with those in a minute so we're pretty much done there's a few down feathers, I'm just going to wipe with my thumb. Um, if the duck is really dry, you can take and uh, dip your hand in a glass of water just to add a little bit of moisture and that'll help stick to those feathers. And I must have scared this duck to death because I'm not seeing any pellet holes, which is 
absolutely wonderful. That means there'll be no bloodshot meat or anything like that. Last few feathers around where I gutted them. All right, now that's plucked. The next step is gonna be taking off the wings, the head, and the legs. Okay, now that we have our duck plucked, we're gonna take off the wings, head, and legs. I'm gonna start with taking the head off, just a regular pocket knife. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ring around the neck skin at that point where I plucked to. Then I'm gonna slide that skin down and cut the neck off. And all I do is just push through. And just push the blade through that neck. And the reason I leave that extra skin is when you cook it, that skin will shrink. And if you cut the skin too short, you'll expose some of that breast meat. So I like to leave a little extra skin. That way when it cooks, every, all the meat's still covered. Now onto the wings. I'm gonna start and cut in front of the wing and cut up to the first joint along the bone. The knife will stop at that joint. Pop the wing joint backwards. Slice through the back of the meat. Run your knife up to the wing joint, wiggle it through. And you're left that nice drumstick. Do that again on the front, up to the wing joint. Pop that wing joint backwards. Slice the back, knife up to the knuckle. Wiggle it through. Okay, now the legs, there's a tendon last couple down feathers here. There's a tendon that runs right in this knuckle on a duck's leg. It's nice to cut that tendon, it makes it easy. But if you run your knife straight this way, you won't cut the tendon. So I just cant my knife a little bit at an angle in between that little knuckle. Slice that tendon and the skin, pop it backwards, slide, kind of slide the bone out and then slice that off. And that'll take off those last little bit of feathers and the foot. So again, a little bit of an angle, slice that tendon, pop that joint backwards, slice it off. So that's it on that. And if you hadn't already, if your ducks were fresh and you hadn't aged them, you would go ahead and now make your incision here, re remove all the, the guts and everything. Um, just the last little cleanup here. So one final step on a plucked duck before you're ready to brine it or cook it, whatever you're gonna do with it at this point, um, is to singe it. So let me grab my lighter. I have a regular torch. And what I'm gonna do is you'll notice, you can't see it in the video, but you'll notice when you do it, there's a lot of little hairs on a duck and you wanna singe those off. So I'll start, singe off around the leg, it also gets the last, those little down feathers that you're, you drag yourself mad if you try getting them all off. So start around the leg, then I have somewhere to hold. And I'm just gonna work real quick. And you'll see them burn off. Make sure you get in the wing pits, around the neck. Go over it once or twice. And then remember we left these feathers on the oil gland. I'm just gonna go ahead and light that on fire. And you can see it burns just like a candle, all those oils in there. Let's burn it, I'll just make sure I got everything else. And that'll basically singe those feathers up and fall off. You could cut that oil gland out. I've never seen a need to. You're really not eating the tail per se. So, and you see that burns out just like that. And there you have it. Uh, now I would rinse it and uh, either cook it or brine it and ready to go. Thanks.